Welcome to the Dock Walk, brought to you this morning by Ainsley and Ainsley, powering this Ineos Britannia America's Cup team. Justin of the Vaccines is with me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is the sort of applause that you're used to at gigs that you do. How is it feeling to be here in the moment, you know, hopefully on the precipice of a comeback? Yeah, well, as you say, hopefully on the precipice of a comeback. It's very exciting, very nerve-wracking, I have to say. I've been watching at home, but kind of like from behind the sofa. Um, can barely bring myself to watch. But I think it's kind of the biggest day so far today, isn't it? It feels that yeah. way. I mean, you hail from Southampton, I understand. Yes. So you know, you know what this would mean if we were able to bring this cup back to Britain. I mean, what, what, what does that feel like as somebody that's sort of grown up near the ocean waves? I mean, you can understand, can't you, the excitement that's building here? Yeah, you know, I never really think of myself as a particularly sort of patriotic, patriotic or competitive person. But as soon as I come somewhere like this, I get like completely swept up in it. And you see, you know, how much it means so many people and also how much time and effort and energy and passion people have put into it. And I think, yeah, I mean, what is it? 160, 170, 180 years of hurt. Yeah. 173 years, yeah. my friend. It is etched into my memory. It really is. Bit of rock and roll advice then for this team that are going out on the water today. What would you say to them? I think nihilism. I think at this point, just nihilism. You know, um, there's no coming back, is there? I think you just got to leave nothing out there. I, I think that's exactly what they intend to do today. I'm going to let you crack on and watch the action and find a sailor to bother. Let's go over here and see if Bleds will chat to us. Bleds, come on, come on over here with me. Right, we do know the size of the task today, um, but just describe to people how the mood is in the camp, what we're thinking about, how we're going to turn this around. Yeah, absolutely. It's a big day for us out there today. Um, obviously, 4-0 down at the minute, but um, everybody's fully motivated to get out there and give it our all um, and come home hopefully with two wins tonight. Other than a couple of race wins, what else do we need to do out on the, those waves to ensure that we stand the best possible chance of that today? Yeah, I mean, I think there could be some diff difficult, difficult conditions out there today. Um, a bit different to what we've seen in the last few days. Um, the sea state's up for sure. Um, and we think that could be playing in our hands. So um, we're looking forward to the challenge and um, get looking forward to get out there and get stuck in. All right, we'll let you crash on. Uh, we're just going to see if we can locate Robbie. Robbie? Robbie, can I borrow you? Sorry, Lee. Were you talking about something very, very important? Oh, no, no, all good, all good. Okay. <laughs> just, you were just adoring the, the fans. It was that. Okay, Robbie, quick question on tactics today. How are we going to approach um, these two races today? What What is the thinking behind how we're going to start and how we're going to take these Kiwis down? Uh, the, the start plans, uh, you know, the first one's a little bit more reactive because we're the starboard entry. Uh, but, you know, we get control and then just try and shut the race down from there. I mean, the, the biggie is, like, the... The whole team has been pushing so hard to just eke out every little bit of performance. And it's been amazing to see that. And I think there'll be another step up today. It's got closer every day. Let's make it happen today. Okay, great. I love your positive attitude. It's always a thing to behold. Let's see if I can grab my husband. He looks like he's deep in thought, but let's see if we can get him over here. Ben, can you have a word? Well, you look quite happy and smiley, which is a nice thing to see. Um, how are you feeling about today? We know that we got it all to do. Yeah, good. Uh, it's a new day, uh, slightly different conditions today, a bit more sea state around. So, yeah, we've just got to go into it fresh and, you know, it's certainly taken a lot of learnings from the, the last couple of days of racing and, yeah, we're up for it. You're very good at treating each day the same, but does it feel like there's extra waiting on today, given the scoreline? Ah, uh, yes and no, but really you just got to take each race at a time in, in this game. Like I said, we learned a lot from racing the Kiwis so far. Hopefully we can put that into practice in these two races today. And, See what happens with the breeze. It's a little bit light now. Hopefully it'll fill in later and have some good conditions. Any rousing speeches to the boys this morning? No, we just talk about, you know, it's always the same in sports and sports teams. It's about just trying to execute what you've trained for. And that's no different here. If we go out and we execute well and we can get the start line well, there's no reason why we can't win some races. All right, best of luck out there today, darling. We're rooting for you. I love how well measured they keep despite the pressure that's on them. It's up to the rest of us to get overexcited about what could be a very, very interesting race day out on the water today and catch all the action on TNT Sports. And don't forget, there's an analysis show a little later on to go through all of the action. And let's hope it's a positive one.